Hello everyone, this is Mike Check 95 with another Mike Check Productions Mike Check Movie Review! And the movie we review today is I, Frankenstein. Before we get into the review, if you enjoy this video and any content I've done in the past, or any content that you're going to be seeing in the future, like October Horror Fest coming back again this year, and any other future projects like more of the snack reviews, or the drink reviews and anything, be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Join the madness. Follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. The works. There's a Discord link at the description box down below. Be sure to click on that and join the madness there. We are a variety channel. Share your thoughts about anything with the channel or any projects that we could do in the future. And moving on to the numbers of I, Frankenstein. And eesh, this film got destroyed by the, the ratings. Critics rate this film a .5 out of 10. And audiences rate this film at 3.8. I do not agree with those numbers. You will understand why later. The budget of this film is $65 million, and they made back $76.8 million. So they made money back, but not quite enough to grant a sequel. Also, the reviews were all negative, so that probably discouraged the creators of this film, which kind of makes me sad. So first off, this film is based off a digital-only graphic novel by the same name, I, Frankenstein, uh, written by Kevin Grevoix? Grevoy? Kevin Grevoy? I'm probably pronouncing it wrong. Here's the name on the screen. And also, uh, this film was actually supposed to have some sequels and a crossover film with the Underworld series because the producer of this film also produced the Underworld series. But, of course, due to poor reviews and not getting enough money back from the box office, the idea for it was scrapped, pretty much. Uh, let's go on to some pros and cons. My pros and cons list are kind of very little in this film, because I was honestly trying to figure out whether or not I actually enjoyed this film or not. So, we'll just go through the list and kind of go from there. I really enjoyed the soundtrack, because this is the kind of soundtrack I would listen to when I write stories. It helped with the action scenes and everything, which of course, the action scenes and the weapon design were really, really good in this movie. It definitely helped a lot with how the pacing of this film was going with the action and the weapon design and the soundtrack. So that kind of helped, helped me get distracted by some of the issues of this film. Plus it's also just, it's corny graphic novel fun. like. It's corny, it's kind of stupid, but you can tell it's ripped straight from a comic, and that's why I enjoy it, because there's some bad films out there that look like it's ripped straight from a comic book, and I just sit down and enjoy the stupid fun, because it's, it's sometimes it's fun to sit down and relax and enjoy just a stupid comic book movie. This was one of them. The CGI was absolutely atrocious, but the design for the gargoyles actually looked really good. Demons not so much, but the CGI was fucking bad because it stood out like a sore thumb. So bad. There is that. It kind of segues ways into my cons, so that's my number one con is the CGI. My last pro is the gargoyle design, so there's that. The makeup for uh, Adam or Frankenstein's monster, at least in the first few scenes of the movie, were changing a lot every time he was on screen. That kind of makes me think if they had to go back and reshoot those first few scenes, so that could be the reason why. Narration. It was a little annoying, Adam basically telling his story through narration throughout the movie on and off. It kind of stops like about halfway to the very end and it kind of comes back at the very end, but it was a little annoying hearing that, but it, it kind of helped. Info dump, which I don't like info dumps, in movies. I explained that in Apollo 18. For this case, it was more for a comic book setup, so it kind of helped. That's what happens when you cram 300 comics into one 80 minute movie. The pacing of this film, again, was so much content from the graphic novel, probably the way this film was scrunched together and chopped up. It was, ugh. This film was plagued with horrible pacing. And I didn't like it, but I was trying my best to ignore it because I was trying to enjoy the corny graphic, graphic novel fun. And then my last column was actually a kind of a continuity issue. I 
kind of thought about it, and like the crossover between Underworld and I Frankenstein would possibly cause problems because the actor who played the Elder Vampire is the Prince Demon in I Frankenstein, or is he is the Elder Vampire in Underworld? Unless that was going to be ex explained throughout the planned story, like how like the Elder Vampire gets killed and like his body gets possessed by a demon and he comes back as a demon prince, or he just it gets re-manifested re as a different being. Right now, thinking about the crossover without knowing what the, what they were going to do, it wouldn't have made sense. Those were my thoughts on I Frankenstein. It's now time to get into my final rating. Like I said during the pros, I was very worried that I was not going to enjoy this film because the first time I saw this film was at 3 in the morning, so I was kind of wonky and half awake, just about to fall asleep watching this film back in high school. And surprisingly enough, I noticed the problems in this film, and I knew this film was actually bad at some points, but I think it was because, due to the fact that I enjoyed the Underworld series, it kind of had the same feel and the same flow. That might be why I actually semi-enjoyed this movie for what it was because I could see where they were kind of going with this to make it work as a crossover or or for planned sequels. And the fact that it was just corny, graphic novel, dumb fun. This film is not great. This film is not fantastic, but it's also not atrocious or fucking awful. So that is why it kind of sits in the middle section to where, like, it's still leaning towards the bad, but it had some good qualities, so I, Frankenstein, for me, is going to get a six and a half. That is kind of a low number. That's what my brain gave it. The next time you shall see us, more movie reviews, more surprise content for projects, October Horror Fest, all coming up within the next week, couple weeks and a couple months. But until then, this is Mike Check 95 with another Mike Check Productions Mike Check Movie Review, and I'm signing out. Also, this was definitely a what could have been scenario if it was done properly. See you guys later.